Welcome to the Daily Office. I am so glad you can join me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, February the 14th. It's year two, it's week six after Epiphany, and it's week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 100, 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, and a canticle from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 10 to 14. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to our assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia! Cry out with joy to God the Most High, all the earth. Alleluia! Psalm 100. Cry out with joy to God the Most High, all the earth. Serve our God with gladness. Come before God, singing for joy. Know that God the Most High is God, our Maker, to whom we belong. We are God's people, the sheep of God's flock. Enter the gates with thanksgiving. God's courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to God and bless God's name. Indeed, how good is our God, whose merciful love is eternal, whose faithfulness lasts forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to God the Most High, all the earth. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first letter of John, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Now by this we may be sure that we know him, if we obey his commandments. Whoever says, I have come to know him, but does not obey his commandments, is a liar. And in such a person the truth does not exist. But whoever obeys his word, truly in this person, the love of God has reached perfection. By this we may be sure that we are in him. Whoever says, I abide in him, ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is from the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a sister or brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light. And in such a person, I, there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go, because the darkness has brought on blindness. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia. Hear the word of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia. A song from the prophet Jeremiah. Hear the word of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, God who scattered Israel will gather, and will keep Israel as a shepherd keeps a flock. For you, O God, have ransomed Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and redeemed them from hands too strong. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over your goodness, over the grain and the wine and the oil and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their lives shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. And then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. You say, I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. And I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the word of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia. Alleluia. O tender God, you have seduced me and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever, amen. Alleluia. 